I know passengers are going to love this aircraft. This is, I don't think I know they're going to love this aircraft. Have you seen this plane? Did you see how beautiful it looks? They are the first of their kind to fly on the African continent. This aircraft is a first in so many ways, not just for Nigeria, not just for Africa, but for the world. This is flying we imagine. Passengers only see planes at the gate before flying, but it takes years of planning, design, tooling, assembly, and testing for the engineers to transform an empty fuselage into the most efficient and sophisticated next generation commercial jet in the world before delivery. We look at what goes into fitting APC Airlines individual pieces and design. What happened in the years leading to the expected delivery and how long did it take to build one? Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Adachi Uchendo. At the Embraer factory in Brazil, where the most efficient next generation commercial jet in the world is made. The engineers have one goal. Building an aircraft faster and cheaper than ever before. But the difficult part is the decision taken in designing the new plane. Right from inception, when we started AP seven years ago, we already knew that we were going to transition to new aircrafts. The challenge was we needed to look for the right type of aircraft to be able to replace the 737 Classics, which is the 737-300 um, and the um, Dash 500. Because when you're going to buy an airplane, there are a lot of parameters that you must put into consideration so that you don't make the wrong decision. So we went into the market, we went shopping. First of all, you have to look at what is the market we're looking at and where do we want to fly to them. You look at, okay, which aircraft in the market do we feel best suits what we want to do with that aircraft. So initially we uh, had looked at the 737 MAX. And then subsequently we also then looked at the E2195 to complement uh, the 737 MAX. Of course, everybody knows what happens in the MAX. And so we continued with our purchase of the E2195 development stages, which took us over three years to develop exactly what we wanted as a product. And we've been on it for over three years as a product, as a, as a, to finish it as a product. We were very particular about the performance of the aircrafts that we were interested in. We want an aircraft that is the world best. We want an aircraft that can actually maximize our returns and efficiency. We want an aircraft that is going to have a reduced fuel consumption compared to what we currently have. And the E2 was just um, perfect because if you get the equipment wrong, you're almost dead on arrival. The first time I heard the decision has been taken for the E2, E1, and E5 to be ordered, in my mind I felt it was a very impossible task. And impossible in the sense that we're looking at the numbers. Okay, is this realistic? Is this something we can do? Is this something we can achieve? And looking at the economics of the aircraft in terms of the capital outlook, I had to go back, look at the numbers, to make sure it's something that if we decide to embark upon, we can actually get to our desired destination. At the end of the day, after all the numbers were put into consideration, yeah, it became a dream come true. We felt, okay, something we could do. Let's go ahead and do it. So we met with the manufacturer. They came here to have a meeting with us. We held several meetings. We also went to their facility in Brazil to do a tour of the facility to see how the aircraft has been manufactured. They took us into their manufacturing plant, you know, took us through the whole um, aerodynamics um, structure, the arrangement of the design, the reasons behind the design. And we saw that everything fits into, you know, what we were looking for. The production of APIS E195 each aircraft 
nicknamed the Prophet Hunter, is nothing less of a marvel both in terms of complexity and craftsmanship. We have no issues whatsoever with what we are up against. This is just a new aircraft, it's wonderful, it's a challenge, but we're up for it. We're going for it. Each step of the procedure was meticulously planned. When we looked at it, it actually wasn't, it was just on paper, they were building it, but it hadn't come out into the world. So we sat down with Embraer, came up with a design, and then you, you go through the whole thing, how many seats do you want, how many business class seats do you want, what kind of seats do you want, how many toilets do you want, how many galleys. It's, you know, you, you pick and choose exactly what you want. The seats you want, what make you want, they want them to be in cloth, you want them to be in leather. You build the plane from scratch to your, your specifications, and that's exactly what we did. That process takes about three years to finalize and lock down, and then the manufacturer now puts it into reality, which is what we've done. Finally, they agreed to make the airplane that works, that has the functionality that passengers will love. The crew will like it, the maintenance and flight crew will also like it. But it was the interior that excited the APS airlines the most. Beyond optimizing each part, our cabin has been designed with you in mind. The care and attention to detail of our design team has resulted in a cabin environment that is sophisticated and contemporary. The ambience of this aircraft is so alluring, especially at night. You, you feel the sense of serenity, luxury, and safety, and, and style. The cabin is home to us, and the crew are going to love it. It's a new experience, a new feeling. When you get a new aircraft into your fleet, into your company, and it's a first, this generates a level of excitement, and it, it, it's, it's like it's like getting a new toy when you're a little boy, but more, so much more. It's so difficult to explain the excitement, the newness, the technology, the different ways things are going to be done. And my role here is to bring these aircraft and maximize what we can get out of them and what we can deliver to our customers. We don't often see true innovation when it comes to sitting concepts. The airline has chosen to step up its front of the playing game with its business class product on its new E195 E2. They have introduced Embraer's new business class seating concept, featuring staggered seats in a 2 2 configuration, giving you back your space. An interesting thing piece on the future of regional jet passenger experience. No, no manufacturer makes the seats. The seats are made by seat manufacturers. So, but you can go around and choose any type of seats you like that is available, of course. Airpiece have chosen a dual class configuration with our innovative staggered seating design, ensuring maximum passenger comfort with window and aisle access for everyone. Our award-winning staggered business class seat, first on regional jet, is thoughtfully and tastefully designed to create a memorable experience. When they come in, it looks as if it's COVID compliant. The design was put together long before COVID uh, hit the world. But fortunately for us, it actually does come across as very COVID compliant. So if you're in business class, you actually don't have somebody sitting directly next to you. The person is slightly either behind you or slightly uh, in front of you. So all in all, we've taken this is like I said, it's about a four year project. When we chose the seat, we were looking at offering our passengers a reassuring sense of well-being and comfort and we were very deliberate in making sure that the design language we used throughout our E195 E2 was consistent from business class to economy class. When it comes to the pitch, it's like giving you back your space. They have all the uh, gadgets, you know, the sockets for all the latest compliances, they have holders for your iPads, they have holders for your phones, all those kind of gadgets. Uh, so it's, it's very much a 21st century city. The airline's firm order stands at 13 E195 E2s with 17 purchase right for the same model, clinching the launch customer trophy for E195 E2 in the continent. For us at Embraer, this is so special, as these E2s are the first ones to fly on the African continent. We've already developed to the point of having new aircraft. It's a wonderful first for Nigeria, wonderful for our airpiece. We are no longer catching up. We've caught up. Back at the Embraer plant in Brazil, the APS airline E195 E2 aircraft is fitted out in sections of the fuselage assembled and joined with rivets.
As the major sections of plane began to take shape, the pieces were held together with rivets, fasteners that would hold them to the ribs and curves that gave the plane strength. Notice that welding isn't used for aircraft manufacturing. Reason be that the welded parts tend to become stiff and may break off during flight. The process actually starts in different countries and involves different companies supplying thousands of individual parts, ranging from rivets and bolts to seats and engines, and brought together for assembly later. And by the time this plane is completed, there will be thousands of fasteners like this one holding together several hundred parts. To build one of our beautiful birds, it takes around two months and involves hundreds of mechanics and engineers, not only in our factory in Brazil, but also from suppliers all over the world. It's time for the aircraft to receive its signature color. Every tiny scratch, loose ends are reworked, cleaned and retightened to achieve perfection. Building an aircraft from the scratch means someone has to be stationed in case of any changes and feeding the company back on progress situation. I personally didn't go to the factory but we had people in the factory all the time right from once the construction started we had engineers there. We had crew that went over at different stages to co um, coordinate with Ember. Ember themselves came to Nigeria so it was a continuous back and forth between um, Brazil and Nigeria. Unfortunately, COVID caught up with some of the team and kept them there for nearly a year. Once it was finalized on paper, right through the manufacturing stage, we always had people in uh, Brazil. The most significant element of any aircraft will be its wings. Here you can see it, but we have folks that work every day inside the wings, putting components inside it. We've got lots of fuel filters, we've got fuel probes, we've got hydraulic systems, we've got fuel tubings, we've got electrical wirings. Every tiny scratch, loose ends are reworked, cleaned and retightened to achieve perfection. 
The first step for the engineers is to determine the wing's position using all necessary equipment to make sure the wings are properly positioned and the rivets to the fuselage. Paying attention to smallest details as margin for an error is non-existent. As the first wing took shape, individual pieces were being sealed, so the interior of the wing could act as a fuel tank. Piece by piece, the aircraft starts taking shape. Once the wings were in position, they were bolted firmly to the fuselage. Then a final quality control check for tightness. At this point, the floorboards are fully installed. Least I forget, less visible to the passengers but equally important was the design of the cockpit. The cockpit is designed to be familiar to pilots but also to embrace new technology and ways to interact with it. From the pilot's viewpoint, it's the 21st century aircraft. This is, I mean, this is the latest technology. It's going to be very enjoyable to fly makes work, load work much easier. I know passengers are going to love this aircraft. <laughs> I don't think I know they're going to love this aircraft. So, I mean, I've been in it, and I've been in many, many aircrafts, and this is top of the range. This is the latest aircraft, and comfort of passengers, uh, reliability with maintenance, uh, passenger, uh, car pilots being able to have the latest gadgets at their disposal to make it as safe as possible. Uh, everybody talks about your carbon footprint, your carbon footprint, so these aircrafts are going to enable us to do that. These are brand new airplanes, straight out of the factory, straight into airpiece. They've come from the factory to airpiece. This aircraft is a lean, mean, profit hunting machine. A beautiful technological advancement because it's simple, it's digital, it's easy, and that really, really empowers us to do so much with this aircraft. The thing that will truly stand out when you sit in this aircraft, it's so quiet. You can have a conversation with the people beside you or across the aisle. You will hear everything. It is remarkably quiet and this will give tremendous passenger comfort to everybody. This will definitely be a game changer for aviation in Nigeria. The passengers are going to have a wonderful experience in the cabin and it's going to change the industry and raise the bar for everybody. The ambience and environment is second to none. There's no way anyone that steps into that aircraft will not feel this excitement around them. This is flying, we imagine. We have indeed considered every part of your journey. And this is a representation of what we can do. Finally, when all comes together, when thousands of parts of the aircraft are assembled, we are immensely proud to roll out our new aircraft and deliver it to our customer. However, our E195E2s living for Africa are extra special. They are the first of their kind to take African skies and we are looking forward to bring many more of our beautiful birds to our beautiful continent. Welcome aboard. We wish you a most pleasant journey. So the next time you fly, think of the immense amount of work that goes into making this Lion Tech aircraft.